How did Paris fall to Nazi Germany in just six weeks? Discover the dramatic and swift blitzkrieg that stunned the world. In May 1940, Nazi Germany unleashed a surprise blitzkrieg attack on France, changing the course of history. German forces bypassed the heavily fortified Maginot Line, slicing through the Ardennes Forest, a move the Allies never anticipated. Starting from the 15th of May, Rommel's 7th Panzer Division sliced through the French defenses and was able to reach the Atlantic coast within days. This action earned the 7th Panzer Division the nickname Ghost Division. On the 17th of May, this division claimed to have made 10,000 prisoners against only 36 losses. By late May, German troops had encircled the British Expeditionary Force and French soldiers at Dunkirk, triggering a desperate evacuation in Operation Dynamo. During the operations in Belgium and northern France, the French and British army combined had lost 61 divisions. With a depleted army, the French had to defend a long front of 965 km against the further advancing German armies. The balance was 65 Allied divisions against 142 German divisions with air supremacy. Even though the French were outnumbered, they did put up good defensive fights, but the situation could no longer be saved. It took the Wehrmacht three days to break the defense. With northern defenses collapsing, German forces raced towards Paris. Chaos erupted as millions of refugees fled the advancing troops. Today, 84 years ago, on the 14th of June 1940, German forces marched into an undefended Paris. The French government had already declared it an open city to avoid destruction. A mere eight days later, on June 22, 1940, France officially surrendered to Germany, signing the armistice in the same railway carriage used in 1918. The fall of Paris marked a pivotal moment in World War II, leading to years of occupation. From blitzkrieg to surrender, the fall of Paris in 1940 was a breathtakingly rapid conquest. Subscribe for more compelling historical insights.